You know, I used to believe that two heads were better than one. But thanks to old gobbly gooker and snaggletooth, they've pretty much proven that apparently there are uh, exceptions to that rule. Anyway, intro! I so I got to get my hustle on. I Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV, and yes, we are still... We are still following this this uh, this this gobbly gooker saga from my man Ryan Up Church. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the next video that we're gonna be reacting to is a video simply called uh, the uh, Gobbler Report. We still got the digi the uh, dizzy emojis with the uh, additional uh, turkey emoji. You know what I'm saying? Because you know. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this video by liking the hit hit. We interrupt your brain with a gobbler alert. <laughs> Good lord, all he did is breathe, and now I have lots of funny stuff to say. First I know that 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 dramatic, you know, um, sigh or whatever in the hell. Like that's supposed to mean something. Um, or maybe it's it, it's a it, it's a sigh. From him realizing just how much of a dumbass that he is, but then again, I'd be giving that dude way too much credit. Breathe, and now I have lots of funny stuff to say. First off, never trust a guy who has a Mapco cowboy hat and a fucking XL baseball jersey on. Not to mention <laughs> that orange undershirt. What the fuck? The fuck is this shit? Look like a child dressed itself for kindergarten. I wanna wear that. I wanna wear that. You look like the Undertaker and Rey Mysterio fused together. Or or uh, the Undertaker and John Cena, you know the uh, doc, the uh, Doctor of Thugonomics version of John Cena have fused together because you know G Cena had you know the baseball jerseys and yeah Taker would come out with that with the cowboy hat and everything. I, yeah, I'm gonna shut up now and get back into this. He looked like if Zorro was from the hood in California. Hello, I am Zorro. Mm-hmm. And then we booted his ass right the fuck out. No. Hey, man, I'm fucking Zorro, dude. Don't make me grab my sword or something. <laughs> so, Ryan has made a video of me talking to the mayor. No, you made a video of you talking to the mayor. Duh. Yeah, and, and, and all he and I did was, was made some uh, reaction videos. You know what I mean? Having the time of our lives. Dumbass. Okay, just wanted to uh, give you all the background on this situation. So four years ago, I watched two officers beat up a friend of mine. Be beating black and blue. I mean, beating bad. Two years later, I go in and I file a complaint. You're an idiot. Why'd you wait two years? Man, dude. So yeah, I mean, so let me see if I got this straight. A friend of yours got his ass beat by some officers, by some police officers, and you waited two years before you finally decided to get off your ass and say something? Hell, with, with uh, friends like you, who needs enemies? Something happened out. It was just so bad. And then I, I just kind of like sit around like this going, uh, for like two years. And nobody will listen to me against these two officers. The mayor was there when I filed the complaint. Mike Rowe was there when I filed the complaint. See, the thing is, Ryan wants to uh, try to make me look bad. And Hey man, I'm just watching with everybody else. Facts, and um, we don't have to go out of our way to make you look bad. I mean, you're doing a fine job on your own, Chief. I mean, fuck, dude, it's interesting. Look at you. <laughs> the thing he don't understand is... And, and, and it's pretty damn funny, too. People like me that don't have much that, you know, support him. At one point, I did support him. Uh, people that support him live like I do. He wants to talk about me living... People who live... The way you live, I mean, look, 
here you are. See, here you are trying, trying to come out, come at us with this, with this little sob story. Like we're supposed to feel sorry for you, but yet you're the same asshole who kept saying, "Well, I don't care about money. Money ain't shit to me." Well, if, if that's the case, then why are you up here now crying about? Oh, you know, we we we, we lived this this uh this uh struggle. You know what I mean? While while we while we support an up church, well. You live in that struggle is not church's problem. That's your problem. You're a grown ass man, acting like a fucking grown ass, you know, fucking fucking man child. You know what I'm saying? Crying and bitching over over shit you don't have. Well, like I said, that that is that is a you problem, not a church problem, bro. Even in a tin can. No one said anything about where you live. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. The videos are right behind these ones. Go look. Facts. Like most of these people that come to your concerts, bro. I don't understand. Like, there's nothing wrong with living in a trailer. I, I mean, I've lived in like a lots of trailers. Exactly. It 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 don't it don't matter if you live in a trailer, apartment, or whatever. If you got a roof over your head, hey, that's a good thing. What's your fucking point? They pay out a lot of money and and, and go without paying their light bill to come and watch you. If people are paying so much money for a concert instead of paying for their bills, then that just means that those people are reckless with their money, you know what I'm saying? And suck at making important life decisions. Yeah, they do. And that's why my show looks the way it does, because I want them to at least come to something that's super fucking bad at. What is your point, Dingleberry? So he wants to sit here and put me down. That's all he knows how to do. He won't. Um, he won't talk about the truth in the. You see what I'm doing here? No, of course you don't. You 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 probably think I'm doing like 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 a money rub type of thing. No, this is me playing the world's saddest song on the world's smallest violin. situation you know he, he won't tell the truth he wants to put me down and say I'm a crackhead and yeah at one point in my life I used to be a crackhead and there you have it ladies and gentlemen we finally got a confession <sighs> but fucking god just get off of fucking YouTube bro Jeez, this is not for you you just need to you just yeah Bro, I, I so agree. I mean, for as much fun as, as I was having and following this this crazy saga, I mean, now it's just it's just sad, man. I mean, I'm not feeling bad for old boy. You know, like I said, he a grown ass man, and if he's and if he is where he is in life because of his dumb ass decisions, I mean, like I said, that's that's his own damn fault. Fuck it, just keep doing it. I sure did. <laughs> I sure did. Sure did. Now my kids had to, they had to change their account information on their, on their social media. They had to change their phone number because they was. Well, hopefully they uh, smartened up and, and they, they changed their name. They changed their identity on there. So that way people can't associate them with your dumb ass. Receiving threatening messages from his cult. Y'all don't understand guys. Ryan up church ain't doing nothing but helping, but helping me in this situation. I don't know if what you said was true, but that doesn't sound very helpful to me. He's exposing our mayor. How the fuck is your mayor giving you GPS directions to the guy, the only parking lot in town, and you <laughs> arguing with him over five dollars, and him hanging up on you? How is that exposing the mayor? Mm -hmm, true, and again, I'm pretty sure it's against the law to record uh, anyone without their consent. So. Yeah. It just tells me your mayor ain't with your bullshit, to be real. Mm-hmm, and your mayor don't want to be bothered with dumbasses like you. You know, haven't y'all watched the videos of me protesting and him showing up and oppressing me? Nobody gives a fuck. Oppressing you? Who? What? Oppressing you. Him and John Holbrook, the one that I was actually protesting about. What the fuck 
can you possibly protest? <gasps> I would love to see the people who fucking show up with you. Can we put them on YouTube too? I'll give them fifty dollars an interview. So tell us, how long have you known Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth? I oh, don't know, man, but have you seen a fucking gray Oldsmobile <laughs> ride by? Actually, we do. The cops just pulled that one over over there. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> so the people that know me in my hometown know, <laughs> they know that I, I'm a dagburn good person. Heard some really lying vocals in your voice. A dagburn good person. If you gotta come on here and 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 tell yourself that you're a, you're a quote dagburn good person, unquote. Then, um, yeah, you're not convincing anybody but yourself there, my guy. I'm just saying. Degburn. <laughs> Degburn. Hashtag Degburn. I'm a good person, bro. All right, bro. I don't... Okay, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you are, but I mean, it sounds like you're not convinced that you're a good person. You know what I mean? But hopefully someday you, you will believe that you are. I'm just saying. Fucking care. But you're making me look like some awful piece of crap, bro. Again, nobody needs to help you in that department. You're doing a fine, fine job on your own. Hey, bro. I'm just watching the show. You <laughs> dressed up like a Mexican hood, so, bro. Over me posting a video, the truth must be, mm -hmm. must be some of it, must be the truth. Because... And I know I'm gonna get some dumbass trolls be like, hey, wait a minute, dude, aren't you um, Hispanic? How come you're not being offended by what church is saying? Because, dude, I, I, I don't fit that profile, that's why. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. You are threatening my life. Where? Okay, I'm not I'm not wearing a cowboy hat with, with, a, with a baseball jersey and shit, and making myself look like a Mexican Zorro, you know what I mean? Bruh. And I don't care what people say. This is ridiculous. People are saying, uh, Ryan, you better watch this guy. This guy's retarded. He has lost it. Well, hello. Welcome to YouTube. Have y'all not realized that this guy has posted videos of him just... Man, he does this to everybody. Everybody that exposes, tries to expose the truth about him. Man, can you believe this guy watching a video on a platform where I posted a video for people to watch? Like, what, is he crazy or something? He tries to make them look bad. I hate to break it to you, but we all watch you make yourself look bad. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> and every person that Church has roasted on his channel, they, too, make themselves look bad by doing stupid shit. You know what I mean? In front of a camera... And then, even more stupid, posting the stupid shit on YouTube or whatever other social media platform that allows video postings. Instead of uh, answering questions in the video, because obviously the documentary that he made was a bunch of lies. There's truth in it, yeah. Yeah, because that makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of lies in this truth, and there's a lot of truth in these lies. Apparently, you didn't learn nothing from that video you made with the old Cracky Tooth. Man, you, you sound just as bad as he does. Man, with your fucking opposite, uh, opposite day sounding asses, bruh. The truth lie flies around here, buzzing in my ear. <laughs> I'm a rapper. But do y'all know that band play? Band play. Band play. Why are you doing this? He, that's what he goes by, band play. You don't have to go, band play. Like, you, I don't think you know why people do this. <laughs> Was part of Ryan Up Church's come up. Gee, how'd you figure that out? Have you never wondered why the beginning of the song says, let the band play? God help him. <laughs> Young Dolph's manager. Band play. Yeah, let the band play. Band play. Okay, so you're confirming how church got got his start. Is that what you're what you're trying to achieve here? I mean, yes, obviously church didn't get to where he 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 is now 
like completely on his own. No, obviously he he's had some help from all the right people, like band play, as you like to point out so many times. Um, Redneck Nation helped him out. You know what I mean? They all helped him get his start. But then he took the ball, right, and he ran with it. And look where and look where that got him. Just saying. And just like that, his consciousness left the building. Mm. He is now in space world. I, I I don't think he ever had a consciousness. If if he did, he wouldn't be making these videos that were were all you know having a good old time making fun of. I mean, man, y'all need to y'all y'all need to just really. I mean, instead of you all your cult messaging me and threatening me and saying, well, next time I see you, at dude, if this is true, then show the receipts. See, at least whenever church calls out people for, you know, messing with him, picking on him, however you want to look at that, at least he shows the receipts. We haven't seen anything from you except for two things, and that's jack and shit. Yeah, you're going to get it. Now I'm receiving messages saying that my mayor... My mayor has got the law watching me. Well, fuck yeah. He probably watched your videos and was like, I don't want this crazy bastard getting butt naked, sneaking in my damn window with a fucking three-foot dildo trying to do some weird shit to me. Imagine that. Yeah, the, the mayor is probably trying to help you look out for yourself and protect you against you. That's probably why he's got the law watching you. Because, again... You, you just you just not right in the head, my guy. And that cowboy hat ain't gonna help keep your head together either. Mexican hood Zorro creeping in your window with a big fucking rubber sword. What? <laughs> For what? For what? They're probably evaluating your goofy ass. Mm -hmm. You're telling the truth like I have about you? Bro, if this dude don't delete his YouTube channel, I swear to God, he gonna end up with a muzzle on and with a straight jacket and a white room in his county somewhere. I give him at least a good couple of weeks before we hear about him being locked up in some mental institution. <laughs> uh, all right, Chelsea, that was Church with the Gobbler Report. <laughs> Definitely give it that one a like. Yeah, ah uh, man, this dude is is just completely whacked out of his mind, and I'm glad that if what he's saying is true, I'm glad that the mayor is uh, stepping up. You know what I mean, and looking to you know put an end to this matter. You know what I'm saying. Hopefully, um, you know they can get this guy the the help that he so desperately needs, and that's all I'm pretty much gonna say about that because. It, it, it's just sad now at this point. You know what I mean? I mean, it's still hilarious. Don't get me wrong. I'm still going to have me a good old laugh if as long as church keeps putting up these videos. But I mean, it's just sad. It's just real sad. So anyways, y'all. Y'all know the deal. You know where that link for the original video is going to be if you guys want to hit it up and watch and listen to it on your own free time uninterrupted as you would like. Uh, you know what I mean? Let's let's continue to support our boy up church. You know what I'm saying? And... Uh, yeah don't forget to uh, check of course the uh, re reaction request instructions if you guys want to submit properly submit a reaction request you know what i'm saying and uh, don't forget to hit that like and uh, leave your comments in the comment section down below i look forward to checking out y'all's feedback as i always do and uh also don't forget to hit up the uh, store links you know what i mean check out the merchandise got the coupon slash discount codes for both links you know what i mean to help save you on all your purchases and of course if you can't support the channel financially, hey, all good, no worries. Just all I ask is that please, if you're feeling what I'm doing over here, if you're digging what I'm doing over here, then, uh, you know, consider mashing that, that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying, and crack that bell. Make sure you got the bell notification set to all so you never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? That also goes for all my fan bam and the folks that rock with section. Make sure you guys are showing the family some love as well. I think I nailed everything, so with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all have a blessed one. Catch y'all in the next one. All right? Peace.